Hi, we are the Tafa team, and we are proud to present our architectural visualization class. This class is designed to help you enhance your current abilities and learn new methods in architectural visualization. Throughout the course, we will focus on building a strong foundation for your digital drawing and modeling skills, starting with the basics and gradually moving towards more advanced techniques. We will show you how to produce different architectural visuals that best represent a project using four main design software programs, Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop, SketchUp, and Blender. Each chapter in this class focuses a different form of architectural representation. You'll learn a wide range of visualization methods, from mastering essential commands to creating architectural diagrams, sections, interior and exterior scenes, and detailed 3D models. With this comprehensive series, we aim to cover all the must-know aspects of architectural representation. In Chapter 1, we will explore Adobe Illustrator and SketchUp, providing a detailed tutorial on their essential commands and functionalities. To practice using the tools, we will create two sets of conceptual diagrams. After mastering the essential commands of Adobe Illustrator and SketchUp, we will show you how to create a perspective section drawing using vector blocks in Chapter 2. Following that, in Chapter 3, we will demonstrate how to prepare a perspective plan drawing that incorporates green spaces. Moving on to Chapter 4, we will discuss the importance of composition, lighting, and colors to create three different exterior representations of the same architectural space. This time, we will include Adobe Photoshop tips for editing. In Chapter 5, we will apply the Photoshop knowledge we learned in the previous chapter and prepare a post-digital interior collage using cutouts. Chapter 6 will cover every architect's favorite representation technique, axonometric exploded diagram. You will learn how to produce one with a SketchUp to Illustrator workflow. In Chapter 7, we will introduce Blender, a comprehensive 3D modeling and rendering software. You will learn the basics of Blender and how to create a realistic physical model render using SketchUp and Blender together. In Chapter 8, we will demonstrate how to create a physical model render style for the details section using Blender. Additionally, you will learn how to model basic architectural elements. This class differs from our tutorials as we will be producing architectural representations of a case project from scratch together. We will share all the materials we use, so you can follow us step by step and create the same visuals. The first resource we will provide is the base 3D model in SketchUp format. We will use this architectural model in each chapter as a base to create beautiful architectural visualizations. To complement the 3D model, we will provide base PDF drawings and PNGs for several chapters. With these 2D graphics, you can follow the tutorials and create the same visuals. Finally, we will equip you with content bundles. Filled with an array of carefully selected Tafa original content, you'll find vector people to populate your scenes, patterns to add texture, cutouts to enhance the realism of your visuals, a wide variety of vegetation and furniture blocks to bring life and personality to your designs, and 3D assets to enrich your renders. These elements will elevate your visuals and make them stand out. If you want to learn more about this class, you can visit our website. It contains all the necessary information. Additionally, we have a Black Friday promotion for the launch. The link in the description box below. Now, let us show you a short excerpt from chapter one of this tutorial series. Hello oh, everyone, we are happy to welcome you to the first chapter of Tafu's architectural visualization class. In this chapter, you will learn to create diagrams using SketchUp and Adobe Illustrator programs and to use the programs at a basic level. We'll cover six main lessons. First lesson will be essential SketchUp commands. In this lesson, you'll meet the model we gave you, and we will show you the necessary commands for beginners to SketchUp. Second lesson will be creating section in SketchUp and adjusting the camera angle. We will learn how to use the section plane, the SketchUp tool we use most throughout the class. So, Let's start with the project model made in SketchUp. To change the scene angle, hold down the mouse wheel and move the mouse. You can zoom in and out of the scene by scrolling the mouse wheel up and down. To activate toolbars, right-click on an empty space in the top toolbar. You can open the large tool set for the toolbar on the left. To activate the default tray on the right, go to the window menu. You can change the size of the model by selecting Model Info from the window.
the tag panel under the default tray contains the layers of the model. The model was modeled according to various layers. You can turn these layers on or off. To add a new drawing to the existing layer, select the drawing and then select the layer from the Entity Info panel. Or you can add a new layer from the Tag panel. Now let's move on to Camera Settings. Click on Standard View and use per set camera settings such as Top and Front. You can then change the camera to either Perspective or Parallel. You should choose parallel and ISO to set the camera to the isometric angle. That's it. Scenes allow you to save the camera settings you specify. You can access the scene panel from the default tray. After setting the camera, press plus to save the angle. Right click, rename or delete it. You can do the same in the scene toolbar that opens above. Right click, add or delete a new scene. Now we can move on to the Section tool required for the diagram. Use the Section Plane tool to cut the model. The plane's color changes according to the surface on which the plane is located. Move it over the surface you want to cut. Then move the plane. Select the Move tool or press the M key. You can close the plane with the Display Section Planes tool. You can close the section with the Display section. Cuts tool. When you add another section, the other section will not be active. Double click the plane to activate it again. That's the end of our excerpt. So what do you think? This tutorial series is catered to beginners. Each chapter we will guide you step by step through the process, providing you with the content bundles and knowledge necessary to excel in architectural visualization. We cannot wait for you to join us and take the first step towards enhancing your architectural representation skills.